Ladies and gentlemen, the Federal Trade Commission has launched an investigation into the baby formula shortage and the firms that are engaged in deceptive practices, price gouging, and whether the government contributed to the supply chain chaos that caused widespread shortage. You know, you can best believe these folks are so shady and so corrupt, you can just count on anything they're involved in. It is going to be straight up corruption. So the Federal Trade Commission on Tuesday launched an investigation into an ongoing baby formula shortage that has put a strain on American families across the country. The body will look into whether formula suppliers engaged in deceptive, fraud, and otherwise unfair business practices to take advantage of Americans, as well as what elements contributed to the fragility of the supply chain and concentration of the majority of the market into a few companies. It also encourages Americans to speak out on whether uh, the belief is uh, any policies created by the federal and state governments contributed to the crisis, as the Biden administration desperately worked to alleviate the strain after being criticized for not acting sooner. Politicians are not there to work for the people. They are there to work for the wealthy because they don't do nothing. You know, if people were really smart and on top of their game, this should never have happened, period. It's not happening anywhere else in the world. It should not have happened here. We have been monitoring and will continue to monitor the ongoing infant formula shortage, which is causing enormous anxiety, fear, and financial burden for American families. The FTC is launching a public inquiry into identify they what they want to do is identify the factors that contributed to the shortage. Now, we heard about the recall of formula. Okay, I get you had to recall the formula. But so what happened to the other formula that was not impacted by the salmonella? You mean to tell me every single one on the shelf was infected? Okay. Learning from this experience can help determine how we can minimize the risk of similar shortages in the markets for other life-sustaining products. The commission seeks public input on whether the FTC itself or the state or federal agencies may have inadvertently taken steps that contributed to fragile supply chains in the market for these crucial products for many American families. An announcement sent by the White House read, mm -mm -mm. so uh, they're also looking into hearing about instances where families have experienced fraud deception or scams when attempting to purchase infant formula or been forced to purchase a formula online. Um, I don't see that as a bad thing, but this is what they're saying. Now, I did see the other day that there were rings of people stealing baby formula and then reselling it, of course, at gouged prices. Yeah, I did see that online. On the supply end, officials are questioning whether small and independent retailers have faced particular difficulties assessing limited supplies of infant formula compared to large chain retailers. Just four manufacturers are responsible for producing more than 90% of the country's baby formula supply. 
roughly 45% of the formula products nationwide were out of stock last week, according to CBS. Parents hit the hardest are those with children that have dietary or other issues that limit the kind of formula they can eat. Biden has taken several measures to mitigate the increasingly dire baby formula shortage, including Operation Fly Formula, which is aimed to ramp up international imports of baby formula to raise U.S. supply. Yeah, you, you know, the U.S. is getting formula flown in like a third world country, y'all. Uh, but his administration has faced criticism over failing to act sooner amid worsening crisis. So Biden officials, however, have pointed out that parents began struggling when formula manufacturer Abbott Nutrition was forced to shutter its Michigan plant over bacterial contamination. Abbott announced last week that it had come to an agreement with the Food and Drug Administration on fixing safety issues at its facility, which has been shuttered for more than three months. Among the measures Biden greenlit amid mounting pressure to act on the formula shortage. So that's what he's attempting to do. So he authorized these military aircraft to haul uh, supplies from overseas, meeting U.S. health standards. Over the weekend, roughly 78,000 pounds of baby formula was flown in. And this was from Rammstein Air Base in Germany. That was the first shipment. And there's supposed to be more to come after this. So, mm -mm -mm. GOP lawmakers have argued that giving more money to the Food and Drug Administration, which the legislation does, is not a viable solution. So there should be more shipments coming in over the next few weeks, but it's going to take a while for the baby formula to hit the stores. So ladies and gentlemen, it is best that you go online and find what you need and just have it delivered to your door. So if you have any problems finding something in the U.S., look in Canada. You can find all kinds of retailers online in Canada that will sell and ship baby formula to you, Mexico as well. So don't sit there if you need supplies and you believe you need to get in your car as high as gas is and keep driving around looking for something that you ultimately may never find at this point. So, wow. I mean, look at all the stuff that is happening to America. This is 100% straight up judgment on this country. It really is. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.